In our ongoing work in the Gospel of Matthew, we find ourselves in chapter 10. In this portion, we are going to be looking at verses 34 to 36, and I'm going to be reading out of the American Standard Version. Think not that I have come to send peace on the earth. I come not, came not to send peace, but a sword. For I came to set a man at very variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. One of the key lines in any Christian Christmas pageant is what the angel said to the shepherds on the first Christmas night. In the words of the King James Version, we have, Glory be to God to the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. And that's taken from Luke chapter 2 and verse 14. Now, if you know who Linus Bellin Pelt is, you will probably be able to hear those words spoken. There is only one problem, and it is, and it is that the King James Version is actually a mistranslation of the underlying Greek text. Look at the how the NIV has that verse. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to, the, to those whom his favor rests. The message translation has this verse as glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. If you compare the NIV to the message translation, the difference is just a simpler and smoother English. The verse in Luke makes it clear that the peace that God of God that came that first Christmas was for those who are right with God and not for all men and women. Now look at our text in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34 through to verse 36. And you see how the King James translation of Luke 2.14 would be at odds with this portion of scripture. There is a paradox at the center of the proclamation of the Christian faith. And that is, it is a message that is able to bring peace to our lives. But it is also a message that will bring disharmony and dissension into our lives. One of the ways that the proclamation of the gospel can be falsely proclaimed is the idea that the embrace of the gospel will bring peace to our lives. No, it will bring peace into our life, but not in our life. We need to understand that this is not just hair splitting, but a huge difference. People know that the life and the world around them is chaotic. People will come to the faith with the idea that faith can bring peace to their world. What the faith can do is bring peace into your life. You see, it is not our world that changes when we accept Jesus. It is we who change. One of the hurdles in young faith comes when a person who has been a Christian for a couple of years or so. And at that point, they begin to see that as much as things have changed, things have not changed all that much. The person is still of faith, but finds that much of his or her world remains the same. In fact, as much as the person has changed, there is so very much that is the same. The faith can be sold as something that will change a person's world, and it does not necessarily do so. In the midst of the chaos that is life, there can be peace for those who live for him. You see, what we are told is that the Christian life is not about the end of conflict, but often a source of conflict. Jesus says that conflict will often be found in our own homes. 
Now, we could say there are two types of this conflict. If a person was raised in a communist home, an Orthodox Jewish home, a Mormon home, or a Muslim home, to say I am now a born-again Christian and a believer in Jesus Christ and desire now to be a disciple of his no matter what, that will bring conflict into those type of so, types of homes. If you grew up in a church home where the church was important, but living by faith was not, to take a stand for Jesus Christ will also bring conflict and create conflict for you. Church homes are not always at times conducive to living true authentic faith. In the midst of the conflict, one, will one can find peace in Christ. Our world may be a war zone, but Paul said, The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 7 from the NIV.